so on today's video, I wanted to create a fox eye on my face. I know that has been going around and to be honest with you, the style is probably dead, but who cares? Because I want to do it now. So if you're interested in something like that, then stay tuned. guys and welcome back to another video my name is Shaquita beauty with Kui here on Kui TV we're over here we do content such as beauty fashion and lifestyle so that if that's something that interests you you may want to consider subscribing and clicking the bell to be notified each and every time I upload which is every Monday Eastern Standard Time on today's video we will be doing this nice gorgeous fox eye are you feeling it because i'm feeling it <laughs> and we will also be trying out the new juvia's place lip line so if you're interested in seeing what did i choose and how did i accomplish this eye then you may want to stay tuned talk to you later so yeah let's jump right into it so to create the fox eye, I am going to use this palette here by Juvie. It's the chocolate palette and their Warrior 2 palette. So first what I am going to do is... What am I going to do? Uh... uh Okay, first thing I'm going to do is set under my brow using this color here, you Ude it. Nice neutral color. And I'm just going to put it right here up under my brow bone. And as you can most likely tell, I've already done my face routine off of camera just to make so this video won't become too long but I'll link in the cards you know a video of me doing my face routine in case if you're interested in this next I am going to go into this chocolate palette here and I am going to grab like a nice little brush like this like a bullet angled brush and I am going to grab this shade right here. It has no name. But I'm going to grab this shade here at the end. And what I'm going to do is kind of like give us a indentation of the fox eye. That's good. And you want to make sure this is even. Kind of like start blending it outward and I'm just going in a light circular motion and you kind of want to I hope you guys can see it okay kind of start blending it out Yeah, that's good. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And I love this. I know I'm late to the game because so many people have done this video, but I just really love that look. It's sexy. It's easy to do. Once you do that, I am going to take a lighter brown because the browns in this palette is really dark. So I'm just going to go into this palette and I'm going to use the shade Kufaru, which is this brown right here. And it's like a bronzy brown. So I'm going to grab another brush. And what I'm going to do is blend this into that dark brown to just create a ombre effect. That 
to the shade Uted. And I'm just going to put that all over the inner parts of my eyelid. Just to have something there since I set my eyelids with concealer. Okay, you guys. So now that we have the eyes how we want it. I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Color Icon Multi-Stick in the shade Nudie Culture. And I'm going to line the bottom eyelash line. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is use some shadow to line under that that pencil that we just used. I'm going to use that just to create some drama. And I don't want to go too dark, so I'm going to use that bronzy brown out of the Warrior 2 palette to line the bottom of my lash line. Tap off the access so you won't mess up your face. And then I'm just going to blend under that with a little bit of Udit. Okay, so I want to use that dark shadow to create an eyeliner. So that's what I'm just going to do now. Going out of the chocolate palette and grabbing that dark brown color right there. Okay, so now for this moment that we've been waiting on, which is lips. Okay, you guys, so these are the lippies. Okay, you guys, so these are the lippies. I got the new chocolates collection and then along with the lip perfect gloss. Got the shades Toffee and Cocoa, the Lip Perfect Gloss, and the Glass Gloss, and the shade Caramel Rose, and it's Glass. Both of these are in the shade Cola. And these are the love, you guys. So I'm just going to give you a little show of how the liner looks. This is the coal coal liner of cola. Nice chocolatey brown. You got the cocoa velvety matte lipstick. Ooh. Next you have the toffee velvety matte lipstick. Okay, you can see it right there, but when I do like this, you can't really notice it, which is good for me. A nice little nude. For the Lip Perfect Gloss, I have Caramel Rose. That is beautiful. Lastly, you got It's Glass. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I'm so confused as to what I want to do, but I'm just going to show you how the lipsticks and the gloss look individually, and then we'll come together and do an actual lip combo. Okay, so for the lip liner, the Lux Lip Liner in the shade Cola, Okay, so this is the shade Cola. I will say that this is very creamy. It is not like a matte lip pencil. Very creamy, so you know you're going to run out of this real quick. And this is how much you get. So 
not a lot, but you know, it's still very pigmented nevertheless. Okay, so this is Caramel Rose by itself, no liner. So I feel like I would need a liner with this. Some people may argue that, but I just feel like I need a liner. But by itself, it is very, very pretty. Very pretty. So that is Caramel Rose, the gloss. It is very juicy. It's not drying. It's not really, really moisturizing. It kind of like dried down a little bit, but maybe I need to put on more. I don't know, but it's not like real juicy, if that makes sense. So that's Camel Rose, real cute, cute. <laughs> I have the It's Glass shade of the gloss. This one is this one is really juicy, very moisturizing. It doesn't feel sticky. And it does smell kind of like vanilla a little bit, which is not bad. But this one is actually very moisturizing. So, not sure why. Maybe because sometimes when you mix pigments inside the gloss, maybe it kind of alters the juiciness, the moisturizing effect. Especially when you're really trying to get that pigment. So, I don't know. But I know this is so cute and I will be wearing this. <laughs> so that's it's glass very nice first shade we have here is cocoa okay so this is it's cocoa I will say this is very moisturizing also and yes it is definitely true to being velvety but to be honest with you it kind of feels like a plain old creamy lipstick it doesn't really feel matte to me, but I really do like this color on me. It really is nice, especially for fall time. It's giving me very much 90s vibes. Um, and I really do like this, especially with my little braid in my hair. I think this is very cute. I don't technically like it with this eye look, but it is very cute. <laughs> you guys... I like this. I think toffee is my favorite one. I kind I like it so much. I actually don't think I would need a liner with this. Like this is this is it right here. Like this is him. I like this. As you can tell, I keep looking in the viewfinder because I really do like this. Like. Let's see how I look with the liner, because this, this might be what I'm wearing. Yes. You see that. I will say, because the lip liner is creamy and the lipstick is creamy, it's kind of hard to put this on. But, like, if I were to have, like, a stiff actual lip pencil, it would have went on top of this, but... I really do. I like this. I love this duo. I may just keep it on. Yeah, I think I just may keep it on. Yeah, I think I may keep this on. <laughs> How many times I'm going to say it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, you guys. So this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and videos like this. If you did, then make sure you rate my videos. Comment down below what you liked about it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on, sis? Go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified each and every time I upload, which is Mondays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And yeah, I will talk to you guys on the next video. Oh, and I can't forget about my current subscribers. Hey, y'all. And yeah, oh, and to also wrap up the video, um, I ended up deciding on the, what is it called? Caramel Rose Gloss and the Cola Luxe Liner. So these two is what I'm wearing 
right now and I love the way it feels. My lips feel nice and creamy and conditioned and everything and I got the fox eye going on so I just feel very beautiful, very glowy. Wish I had somewhere to go but I do not and I just love everything about the whole collection. Like I said, it's not really matte in my opinion. It's not even velvety matte in my opinion of the lipsticks. However, I do love them anyway because my lips get dry very easily. So, you know, it's good that it's not matte because I have enough matte lipsticks in my collection that are very drying. So... I'm thankful for that. Thank you, Juvia's Place. So I will not hold you guys alone. Again, I thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you on the next one. Bye. Mwah.